Hey there friends and enemies, Jopi here again, and we've gotten a ton of news about buffs coming to Remnant 2 in the near future, and I wanted to go through my top 5 things that have not been mentioned yet that I personally would love to see get buffs as well, especially because there's really not any content that we know coming in the foreseeable future for this game so the best way to keep it feeling fresh is by making buffs to underwhelming and underutilizing items archetypes weapons all that kind of good stuff so i'm going to go through five of the things that i would personally love to see buffed now if you have anything that i might have missed let me know in the comments down below but starting off i want to talk about the handler specifically the attack dog now at times this skill has been good for applying bleed to enemy targets however i would personally love to see a way to build into heavy damage from the attack dog this is a class that unfortunately does not have the ability to hit flying bosses the attack dog cannot hit enemies that are outside of its range so why not make it really strong to kind of make up for that fact we've had like i mentioned ways to make bleed builds with the handler archetype but other than that and some support builds that are potentially solid as well it just doesn't really shine anywhere and that's really unfortunate handler was my very first archetype it is still one of my favorites and i feel like it's fallen behind with some of the other really cool things we have ritualist and invoker and all these other archetypes that really get a chance to shine right now so why not make it so even if you have to build into the attack dog maybe make it benefit from melee damage bonuses or something like that and that way it could be really really awesome and hit like a truck against whatever enemies that is really strong against i feel like that would be really cool next up along a similar path and something that i think could use a buff and now this is just a bunch of different weapons but melee weapons that don't have any range i would love to see them be not wildly op but just way stronger to make up for the fact that they can't hit certain bosses in the game because they are flying or otherwise out of reach and so it's incredibly frustrating when you have a boss who essentially just counters your entire build simply because you cannot reach them so imagine something like the smolder just being wildly overpowered against bosses that it can actually reach or uh aberrations that that it can absolutely melt so i think that would be really dope to see it's just unfortunate that's not the case because if a weapon does not have any range it makes it incredibly difficult to hit certain bosses so we'll have to see if that ever it comes to pass but there's so many of the standard melee weapons in the game uh scrap hammer for example rusted claws obviously those are a bit weaker but even the royal broadsword or something like that which could be really cool in certain builds if you were able to maximize them against the bosses that you can actually hit and that's something that again throughout the game i think uh, we've had problems with as far as the boss attack patterns and the way they fly around and all that kind of stuff when it comes to limiting uh, limiting some of the builds you can create in the game so i do think the bosses in remnant 2 are very good overall but it's just the simple frustration that not that certain builds are just immediately not viable because of the fact that they don't do well against certain bosses. Next up, I'm going to talk about most relics. And now that's not a specific thing. Once again, just like the melee weapons that don't have range, I feel like we use in the majority of the builds you can go through this and I was doing some research for this video, uh, go through some of the builds online. And you'll see the same four or five relics used pretty much every single build. Very little variety in the relics that you use. You can throw on something like the Tranquil Heart and then never have to worry about other relics the rest of the game. And I feel like there's certain relics that could definitely use a buff that I honestly have not seen pretty much at all 
throughout my time making builds in Remnant 2. And so any of those underutilized relics, I feel like could really benefit from a strong buff so that way they maximize the potential you think of something like uh the paper heart i don't think i've seen a lot of people use it i could be wrong obviously i haven't seen every build ever but in general there's certain builds that seem to be a lot more or certain relics that seem to get a lot more love than others and part of that is because they're easier to use and part of it is because they just are simply stronger now the next thing i want to talk about is a build type that i think the developers wanted to lean into with the most recent patch but i don't think quite got there and and because of that with the dark horizon dlc i really wanted to make haste and slow builds unfortunately there's just not quite enough power there to make them as viable as i would have liked to i really wanted to make a haste build that is just hard focused on that specifically and that way it just kind of leans into that aspect of the game that i think is again underutilized now what they could do instead of buffing uh the haste items is add haste more to more of the archetype skills that are underutilized maybe give them haste and so that way you can lean into haste and the buffs that you can get from certain amulets and, and rings by doing a haste build also maybe adding a haste modifier to one of the weapon mods might also help out because we already have slow ones but having weapon mods that allow you to haste would be very nice as well and i think it would kind of lean into that place uh, of quick moving and and maybe you get extra damage resist with haste a lot of different options there but that's the type of build that I just haven't seen very prevalent in the game, and I would love for that to change in the future. The last thing, number one, the thing that I think needs the buff the most and probably would need an entire overhaul, but I don't think that's going to be the case at any point, is the Explorer archetype. This is an archetype that is simply, obviously, for exploring. I do understand that. But because of the way the community works and how good people are at finding secrets, this just does not have a place in the game. I wish one of the skills that it had was really valuable in a way that could make it so you could run the Explorer archetype if it was your favorite in a build that was successful. Now, I have run it before with something like the Gold digger skill and the engineer for essentially infinite turret ammo but that was kind of a mean build it was very good for uh, strength purposes because it made you essentially invulnerable but now that that's been corrected it's no longer as good as it once was i do feel like the explorer needs to be enhanced somehow to make it at least usable in builds and that's really where it's fallen behind so much that we'll have to wait and see if that ever changes it might just be one of those archetypes that simply is for uncovering secrets but it does have some usability with the planeswalker again imagine you add going back to my last point you add haste to the planeswalker archetype skill or give it a haste bonus of some sort like you do extra damage while you have haste that would go along perfectly with the increased movement speed and stamina cost reduction so i think you could make that happen and that would be incredibly valuable i would love to run the explorer in a haste build and have it just be really fun move around the field of battle really quickly and just do some very interesting things that we don't see in the game currently so we'll have to wait and see obviously this uh there's a lot more things in the game that have been underwhelming over the course of time so let me know in the comments what i might have missed my name is jopa i hope you enjoyed the video like comment subscribe as always have a good one i'll catch you all later